Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on Brooklyn rapper Casanova two times, how he was just federally indicted, and how they're trying to tie him in to a gang sweep. Caswell Sr., more commonly known by his rap name Casanova two times, has been federally indicted along with 17 other members of the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation. The feds took to Twitter on December 1st, 2020, announcing the indictment on charges of racketeering, murder, narcotics, firearms, and fraud offenses. They also let it be known they're looking for Casanova, who remains the only one out of 18 to be placed in custody. He's been charged with conspiracy to commit racketeering, conspiracy to distribute controlled substances, and possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. Now Cass is no stranger to incarceration. The 34-year-old rapper grew up in the Flatbush area of Brooklyn, New York. His earliest arrest was at the age of 16. At the age of 19, he was sent to New York State Prison on a robbery for the next seven and a half years. In a Vlad TV interview, he spoke on his time incarcerated getting three to four disciplinary write-ups nicknamed tickets for slashing inmates while getting away with slashing an estimated eight more. He would also get cut, but the razor only slashed his arm instead of his face like many others. He later served 32 months, four months shy of three years in solitary confinement, which he admitted broke him mentally. He'd lash out by beating the shit out of the inmates placed in his cell, putting them on the door, a term meaning he'd force them out of his cell, further secluding himself from human contact. When he was released in 2014, he was employed as a construction worker, but also working on his music receiving national attention with his 2018 breakout hit, Set Trippin'. Now this video alone, it's very obvious to see Cass is heavily affiliated, beating on his chest like a gorilla, while others show red bandanas and throw up gang signs. Within the indictment, it says members and associates of the Gorilla Stones engaged in violence with rivals and those within the group they deemed disloyal by committing murder, shootings, robberies, and assaults, leaving one dead, two shot, and a man slashed in a span of two years. Members sold crack, cocaine, and marijuana in and around Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Westchester County, and upstate New York, while others fraudulently obtained benefits from relief programs meant for businesses suffering from COVID-19. The racketeering investigation goes back to 2010. While most recently a murder was committed in September of 2020, in which a man with a surgical mask and dark jacket walked up to 15-year-old Jelani Jones and fatally shot him in the head in broad daylight. While Cass is only facing three charges, he's facing a maximum life sentence for just the racketeering charge, a minimum 10 for conspiracy to distribute, and a minimum 5 for the firearm slash trafficking charge to run concurrent with any other sentence. We all know how these federal cases play out when it comes to gang sweeps, and they rarely end without heavy convictions. These are the same tactics used to take down the mafia, now being applied to take down street gangs, and we all saw the effect the feds had on 9 Trey with Takashi 69 testifying as others were locked away. If Casanova isn't in custody by the time this video drops, I'd imagine his arrest can only be so far away, knowing how popular he is and how hard it will be to remain undetected. I will say that since his release, he's used his incarceration as a means of motivation, posting captions as life lessons for others on social media. He's visited those still incarcerated and become another example of a man leaving the prison system and becoming successful. But his affiliation alone is enough to drag him back down. We'll have to wait and see how this case will play out and what the future holds for Casanova two times. Now I know in a situation like this, everybody wants to maintain a positive mentality, but we also know the conviction rate that the feds have and we've also seen how these gang indictments can literally tear down everybody, including celebrities, the status 
it doesn't matter when you're in federal court lawyers in federal court there's not really too much they can do for you because before they indict you they pretty much have everything set in stone already now as far as him going back to prison that isn't going to be an issue for him as far as you know him being in danger being a celebrity nah that man he did so much time already he had a name inside of the prisons he was at he was tearing it down he was putting in work he's affiliated so going to prison wouldn't be an issue it's more so of an issue that he's a father he's a celebrity he has a music career he's successful this would really have a negative impact on his home life and his career being that with a charge like he has i was just watching an interview that was done with a mob member he spoke on how with racketeering charges you're lucky to plea out to 20 years you got guys that are getting hit with 40 60 80 they're trying to put you away and that's the thing about these racketeering charges the rico act this is how they took down the mafia back in the day dudes would get 15 years and get out after eight and you're good to go but now you get hit with 140 they want you to do 140. it's ridiculous and that's what they do to put people away his affiliation alone is the worst thing for him right now and it's important for the youth that's watching these type of videos to pay attention because a lot of these younger kids are looking for acceptance they're looking for families outside of their own family or maybe they don't even have one through gaining acceptance and an affiliation that same affiliation can be used against you years down the line and he may have been caught by the time that i've dropped this video as of right now he isn't and that's another crazy thing to think about what is he doing right now what is he trying to do what is going through his mind is it to lawyer up because when it's a federal case there's only so much a lawyer is really going to be able to do for you if it was me and I had a lot of money and I'm facing a shitload of time. I might try to get away. But at the same time, how much more restricted is the country and the borders with COVID-19? Would he even be able to make a crazy escape? Would he be able to leave the country? I don't know. It's wild. And we're just going to have to sit back, relax, and watch how everything plays out. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with Charlie, y'all rocking with me. Till next time.